Good evening, members of the International Association of Chiefs of Police, Commissioners of Police, other senior police officers and dignitaries, family, special invited guests, executives and senior officers of Amalgamated Media Security. I take this opportunity to welcome you to this evening's cocktail function and concert sponsored by Amalgamated Security Services Limited. When Amalgamated Security started in 1983, there was a dream, and the dream was to develop a world-class security company that would provide quality service in Trinidad and Tobago. Over the last 30 years, that dream not only became a reality, but expanded. Today, Amalgamated Security is a Caribbean-wide organization that serves Caribbean people and is staffed and operated by Caribbean people. We operate in Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia, and hopefully in the next few weeks, when our license is approved in Guyana, we will begin providing services there. <laughs> Amalgamate also provides services to other islands, example, Antigua, Dominica, St. Kitts, St. Vincent, Grenadine, and Suriname. We are continuously assessing all the Caribbean countries as we intend to expand further in the region. Amalgamated Security has a wide range of products and services of any security company in the Caribbean. We are providers of multiple services, varying from electronic security to cash, to vehicle tracking, to forensic services, to ambulance services, and of course including guarding services. Because we operate in various Caribbean countries, we're able to bring to each market the combined knowledge of dealing with crime across multiple countries and tailoring the protection to suit the specifics of the individual country. In all our operations, we seek to develop partnerships with those organizations that are engaged in the fight against crime. And so we're especially happy to be the sponsor for this evening's function. I would like to take I was going to say a minute, but just 30 seconds, to introduce those members of the Amalgamated team that operate outside of Trinidad and today. We have with us tonight Major Charles Rodriguez, the General Manager of Amalgamated Grenada. <laughs> Mr. Wayne Clark, the General Manager for Soon to be Launched Operation in Guyana. Mr. Andrew Cavender, the General Manager of St. Lucia. <laughs> Mr. Linwell James, the Operations Manager for St. Lucia. And a former Assistant Commissioner of Police. <laughs> Mr. Andrew Core, General Manager of Arbitas. <laughs> Mr. Sean Lambrega, Operations Manager for Arbitas. And Mr. Vernon Wilkinson, the Quality Assurance Manager for Barbados, and the former Deputy Commissioner of Police. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to introduce you to our next speaker, Dr. Jason Hernandez, the head of our training unit. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey, our Regional Development Director. I have been Director of Training at our company for the past 16 years. In staying closely aligned to the vision and mission of the department, we have provided customer-focused training that meets the highest local, regional, and international standards. In addition to providing training to all categories of staff within our company, we have shared our expertise with our corporate clients, the wider local community, and our Caribbean neighbors. The establishment of our regional subsidiaries was to a large extent facilitated by the sharing of our expertise 
coaching experience and best practices. Starting at the ground level, the security officer recruits, having passed the interview and other screening processes, is exposed to a two-week basic security training program. Among the relevant topics covered is this first aid that includes an introduction to cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPI and the automated external defibrillator ADP. This program is certified by the National Safety Council of the United States. All our company drivers are mandated to complete a defensive driving program also certified by the National Safety Council. It is to be noted that these NSC programs are also offered to our corporate clients and members of the wider community at affordable prices. Other international programs. We also ensure that our officers who work on ports or ocean going vessels are trained in the use of the International Ship and Port Facility Security ISPS code as mandated by the International Maritime Organization, IMO. We have recently broken new ground by having officers attached to the Personal Transport Division pursue certified programs and corrections administered by the American Correctional Association, the ACA. At the minute, middle management level, staff is required to successfully pursue both the security and management program SSMP and the Certified in Security Supervision and Management, which is the CSSM, created by acronyms, offered by the International Foundation for Protection Officers, the IFPO. It is only after the successful completion of these programs that upward mobility to senior management can be realized. At our training academy, lecturers must successfully pursue the Certified Protection Officer CPO and the Certified Protection Officer Instructor CPOI programs, also offered by the IFPO. Continuing to senior management, it is now mandatory that staff aspiring to this level become qualified as a Certified Protection Professional, CTP, Physical Security Professional, PSP, or a Professional Certified Investigator, PCI, programs all offered by the American Society for Industrial Security, ACES International, the world's premier security organization with membership of 40,000 plus. With such a cadre of highly qualified staff and the wide range of security services offered to satisfied customers, ASSL is now recognized as the flagship security establishment in the region. It is no small wonder then that we have partnered with both the St. George's University in Grenada and the University of Trinidad and Tobago in the provision of training. On two occasions, within the past seven years, ASSL was recognized and awarded by ACES International as being among the world's top three performing security establishments for both its high success rate at their exams and the high quality of services we offer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
and to our distinguished commissioners, we would be willing to come to your country at our house to discuss any training that you may want us to share with you. Enjoy the remainder of your stay here in TNT and do have a safe return to your respective destinations. I now bring to the podium the young and vibrant Dr. Paul Ali, Head of Electronic Security and Integrated Systems.
in the last month of the moon. Whereas biblical fascist beliefs, I use that hypothetically, uh, use and high tech and often military law enforcement equipment in order to rob ATM users. It involved very simply an attacker standing behind wearing a pillow of imaging goggles or, or have a handheld pillow of camera. And what he does is he point points it at the ATM pad, the pin pad, as the customer leaves the, uh, the ATM. What this shows is varying levels of heat signature on the actual keyboard. So for instance, if that person's pin was 1234, it would possibly show uh, the digit 4 as the darkest to the red with the digit 1 being the lightest. All is left for the attacker to the numbers, follow the customer. Why this method is very effective is that from the time it takes the customer to realize or to make a report, uh, the attacker will have enough time to make it to another ATM or even the same ATM um, and just withdraw the whatever thing that was left on that person's card. It's a scheme whereby the attacker gets maximum reward for the minimum effort. With the current agency, which, uh, which technology focuses support globally, I predict that these types of threats will be very close to coming in reality. With that, I want to thank you for your time and attention today. And we at ADSSL look forward to continuing continue doing our part in reducing the level of digital crimes that are seen locally and regionally. I will make myself available throughout the rest of the evening if you have any questions. And at this point, I would like to take your time to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Marisa, who is head of the Forensics and Criminal Justice Department at ASSL. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kadaranda, and a pleasant good evening to all the interested invited guests. In addition to our digital forensics and cyber unit at ASSL, we continue to look for new ways to serve the communities within our region and offer new services and technologies in the fight against crime. With this in mind, we have launched a new initiative under the portal of Caribbean Forensic Services, a company established to provide a wide range of forensic services to both the public and private sectors. At the forefront of this initiative is the development of an international ISO 17025 and ASCAN accredited forensic facility located here in Trinidad Tobago with capabilities that will extend across the Caribbean states. The demand for such services as DNA testing, firearms, gunshot residue, toxicology, control supplement education are highly needed and extensive studies performed within the region, such as Dr. Barnes et al., shows the need for such services, especially at the full of cost and fast turnaround times. This is especially true as the current worldwide backlog of forensic examinations have increased and priority for foreign cases are pushed aside in order to handle the current casework. Apart from the length of time to get results and extremely overpriced cases from foreign labs, it is important that we in the Caribbean region develop and sustain the technology and experience of independent forensic field. And Caribbean Forensic Services is here for just that. One of the current areas in which the Caribbean region must develop and which is considered an international gold standard for evidence is that of biological DNA evidence. The ability to collect and test the DNA evidence and the development of a regional DNA database is a critical support for law enforcement agencies and the criminal justice system. Caribbean forensic services have access to some of the most cutting edge technologies, for example, our DNA scan machine, which allows for rapid human identification on portable, user friendly systems that can allow police officers to run evidentiary samples and obtain a human profile in about 80 minutes. In addition, TV shows such as CSI have emphasized what is referred to as a CSI effect, resulting in a greater demand for law enforcement agencies to apprehend and rightfully arrest the perpetrator of a crime falls from an expectation of evidence of a crime scene. It is not only important that the infrastructure, equipment, and services be available within the region, but also the human development and gene pool of experienced people. With our expertise, analysis of evidence, training and preparation for accreditation, 
and help you conduct it using local Caribbean experts. Caribbean Friendship Services Initiative provides expertise and scientific prowess at affordable prices and fast turnaround times. This forensic facility will be the first in its kind in a private organization, affording its clients the highest level of technologically advanced forensic science services and expertise provided within the Caribbean. This initiative not only aids our private clients, but can also aid all government agencies, both in the training and the development of their domestic experts, and make available the forensic services that they do not have available right in the Caribbean region. Thank you for your time. I pass the over to Mr. Gilbert Reyes, former Acting Deputy Commissioner of Police of the Trinidad Tobago Police Service and current Executive Manager of Corporate Security, Prime and Intelligence at ACSL for Exclusive Maps. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Mr. Williams, Commissioner of Police. Thank you. 
have this opportunity to want to give a small gift to all the commissioners, okay? So that when you go back, you will have to be some assistance to you in your profession. We want to wish you a very safe and, and secure time in Sri Lanka We want to wish that you enjoy the rest of the night with us. Okay? Thank you very much.